Are you selling a house in Jamaica? If so, don't make these five mistakes as they will cost you time and much more important, money. Make sure to watch out for number five because you are really going to want to avoid this mistake. Hi everyone, it's Paula Roper Bacchus, your real estate pro here on the beautiful island of Jamaica, where I can assist you to sell your property, house or land in record time. And it would be my pleasure to assist you today. Make sure you never miss another one of my informative videos by subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking on the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when I post my next video. Please feel free to grab a copy of my Jamaican Property Seller's Guide ebook. The link is in the description box below. This ebook will be your written step by step guide to selling your property, house, or land in Jamaica fast. So you are going to want to grab yourself a copy today. Selling your house can be a daunting experience in Jamaica. However, I am here to make this process a little less overwhelming for you by giving you the five mistakes that you should avoid when selling your house. Selling a house can be a surprisingly time consuming and an emotionally draining experience for a homeowner, especially if you have never done it before. At times, it may feel like an invasion of your privacy because complete strangers will be coming into your home, opening up your closets and cabinets and criticizing them. If you have no experience with selling a house, you may begin to feel overwhelmed and start to make plenty of first time home seller mistakes that may cost you big time. I am a well-seasoned real estate professional here in Jamaica who has been in the industry for over eight years and who has sold a multitude of houses island-wide. And I can easily guide you through the process of selling your house too. I can help you to avoid a lot of the pitfalls that other home sellers fall into. Because of their lack of knowledge and inexperience with the process. Want to find out how? Great, let's get started. Number one, not keeping your emotions in check. It is easy to get emotional when you are selling your house, especially if it is your first time doing it. This is completely understandable. This may have been the first home you have ever owned and you are emotionally attached to it. You may have even built this house. You may have raised your family in this home and had a lot of memories there over the years. However, you have decided to sell this house. Now you have to start thinking about your house as a business transaction and you are a business person and no longer the home owner. You have to distance yourself from your emotions about the house and look at it purely from a financial perspective. You have to remember that you are selling a piece of real estate and that this is no longer your home. It is a product to be sold for as much profit as you can get for it. Number two, 
This brings us to the perfect next point I wanted to discuss. Another mistake many sellers make is not hiring a real estate agent to assist them with the sale of their property. If you have never sold a property by yourself, now may not be a good time to start trying. You will need the professional know-how of a seasoned real estate professional to guide you down the right path of selling one of the largest financial investments you may ever make in your life. It may be tempting to become a for sale by owner and playing a real estate agent for a while. But when bargain hunters and so-called investor sharks start coming out of the woodwork because they smell fresh meat or blood in the waters, you may start realizing that you are out of your depth. Bargain hunters and investors love for sale by owners because they look at them as easy prey and believe that they will be able to get a deal or a deal by dealing directly with the owners and waving their cash in the owner's faces to entice them to sell their properties to them for little or nothing. Bargain hunters or investors rarely pay full price or full market value for a house. They ride the for sale by owner until they get their own way. All while waving their cash in their faces until they give up in frustration and sell them their houses for little or nothing. They will point out each and every issue with your house, tell you stories about how they bought a similar house to yours for less and telling you that your house is not worth what it is you are asking for it. However, when you work with a seasoned real estate professional like myself, who is trained to deal with these individuals and have years of experience working with them. The odds will be stacked in your favor and we will be able to negotiate on your behalf to secure a better deal for you. Number three not knowing when it is a good time to list your house for sale. Believe it or not, there are really good times to list your house for sale and there are bad times. Sellers need to list their properties for sale at the right time to generate the most amount of interest for their properties. This time varies on the location of your property and the demand for similar properties to your own at the time. I would need to know the exact location of your property to better advise you as to the best times. But if you are interested, you can always reach out to me by sending me a quick email to paulacellsjamaica at gmail.com and we can schedule a meeting to discuss further. You need to time the market just right to get the best results using this strategy. You have to know how to reach your target market and no, not all buyers are checking the Sunday Gleaner every week. Number four, another mistake many home sellers make is not fixing major issues with their house before listing them for sale. If you think that you can get away with hiding major faults with your house from prospective home buyers, 
especially bargain hunters and investors, you are sadly mistaken. Buyers, especially bargain hunters and investors, are looking for any signs of trouble from the moment they drive up to your house and they will be quick to point them out and ask for deep discounts to correct them. This is not wise, especially if you are looking to sell your house quickly and for, you guessed it, top dollar. My best advice is to correct these issues with your house before you place your house on the market or incorporate a discount in the price to account for these issues. However, I will always choose fixing the issues up front before you place your house on the market for sale, if at all possible. Remember, if your house has major issues, it is better to address it openly than it is to hide it from prospective purchasers. When you hide these issues, it could cause problems when it comes time to close your deal on your sale. When you have a true real estate rock star like myself working alongside you to get your house sold, I will walk through your house and point out areas in your house that needs repairs or changes or updating or improvements. And once corrected, should ensure that your house sells quickly for the most money possible. Third parties like me who do not have any emotional attachment to your house can see things about your house that you may not be able to see. I can advise you on ways to correct these flaws about your house so that when prospective buyers visit your house, they will see your house in a positive light. I will give you feedback from prospective buyers that have toured your house so that if there are any additional issues, we can have them corrected as soon as possible to increase our chances of selling quickly. Number five, many Jamaican sellers like to price gouge or overprice their houses when they place them on the market for sale. Many believe that they will sell it for more than it is worth or that they will be able to negotiate from this higher price. But what normally happens is that no one shows any interest at all in their house and their house normally just sits on the market for an extended period of time before they either reduce the price to get it sold or they take it off the market because it is not selling. Don't take this route. Take the correct root of pricing your house properly and according to market value and selling it within a reasonable time for the maximum amount you can possibly get at that time. Take my advice, don't overprice your house. You will end up regretting it and by that time it will be too late and the damage would have already been done. Do your necessary research, speak to a seasoned real estate professional like me and get your house appraised for value by a reputable valuer and then price it right from the start. This will increase your chances of selling your house fast and for the most money possible. Setting the right price is the key to selling your house. 
the better you set your house price, the quicker it will sell. A lot of homeowners believe that their houses are worth way more than they are actually worth. You need to be realistic when setting the list price for your house and listen to your market if you want to sell within a reasonable time frame. Overpricing your house when you are trying to sell it is one of the biggest mistakes you will ever make. If you would like a recommendation for a stellar valuer, please feel free to send me a quick email to paulasellsjamaica at gmail.com and I will send over that information to you. If you learned anything, anything at all, even one thing, please feel free to give this video a big thumbs up to show me that you appreciate the content I am providing here on my YouTube channel. Remember, this is the YouTube channel where you can find information about all things Jamaican real estate from a licensed real estate professional here in Jamaica. Please don't forget to grab your copy of my Jamaican Property Seller's Guide ebook. It is linked in the description box below. If you got this far into the video, we have something special going on here, don't you think? So please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below and clicking on the notification bell so that you will never miss another one of my informative videos. Please also feel free to follow me on all my social media platforms. I am at Paula Sells Jamaica on Facebook, Paula Sells Jamaica on IG, Paula Roper Bacchus on LinkedIn, and you can visit my website at www.paulasellsjamaica.com. Thank you so much for watching and please feel free to continue the learning process by clicking on one of my other informative videos. Thank you so much. Bye.